So next up we have a uh, 2015 Ram with the 6.7 obviously and we have a restricted crankcase filter. We have a, uh, a code and I don't even know what the code is. I don't remember, I should say. Um, and there is definitely excessive pressure in there. The engine runs fine so it's not like it has a blown, uh, like a bad cylinder or anything. So it's just got a, a crankcase filter that's plugged up, which is fairly typical, you know. People don't know how to maintain their stuff. But stupid me, I grabbed a 10. We we're going to need an 8, so I'll be right back. Oh, so trying to get a really good view here. Very difficult on this truck. Not much room to leave the lights. So that should be good enough for right now. So what we're going to have to do first, we have to pull this cover off. There's four 8s. Try to do this fast. We're closing. The customer wants it back tonight. I really don't want it sitting here. So we're just gonna rip it apart, and then it's gonna. You're gonna have to do some dipstick too. And I'm just gonna take it, push it to the side, so we don't have to get make a mess everywhere. And we have eight eight millimeters around all this. Cover. Just gotta take this top cover off. Um, thankfully, we don't have to pull the valve cover off either. We gotta take the oil cap off, so we're gonna set that aside. A bunch of eight. Okay, over here, let me show you. There is some wiring we're gonna have to pop. And then same thing with this one right here. It's gonna take, I didn't grab anything to do it, so I'll just use that. Okay. So let me find another spot to put you. I'm gonna go right here now. Hopefully that's a good spot. Okay, and then I'm gonna try my trick on here instead of having to use a wrench. We're gonna try. And there is a gasket that you can change. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just depends on the truck. You know, this one, I, I can't get one right now and he needs it back. Customer's going on a trip, of course. So we just, unfortunately, got to do what we can, you know. Okay, so now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight, eight millimeter bolts. These two are the studs, obviously, because the wiring harnesses. Just going to lift it up. We're going to do this little trick. Unfortunately, I hate all this dirt, but hate the dirt because it just makes a mess. Oops. So I don't have a way to get shop air out here, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do something a little that I don't really prefer to do. But we're gonna put the oil cap on. We're gonna clean all the brake clean. I know it can't get past the shield, but this is all I have right now. Um, in a time crunch, unfortunately. That's just how it works. You know? Everybody needs everything done quick. Okay. So we got that clean. So this filter literally just pops out. Should make me look stupid. Oops, it just pops right out. And uh, has it ever been? It's a fleet guard, so at least it's a good filter. It's not a piece of junk. So that's what it looks like in there. This is the seal that you can replace. I, like I said, I usually don't um, unless I pull it apart and I find some sort of damage then I won't but you know, it just depends okay now we're going to we're going to grease up these o-rings I know you probably can't even see there's two o-rings on the bottom right here we're going to go ahead and put some grease on those and there's also one right here we're going to go ahead and grease just put a little rub a little grease on there okay now I gotta remember it goes like this. So we're gonna go ahead. You've got to be careful not to pinch these O-rings. Really don't want to do that. So just get it in. It'll pop right in. You don't want to push it too hard. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this off. I'm gonna go ahead and set this on. And remember, there is an O-ring up here too, so you want to be careful with it. You don't want to go caveman style and start breaking stuff. Let's see. Okay, you want to make sure you're not pinching the harness back there. So Everything should be good right there. Put the oil cap back on and we're getting there. So now let's put all these bolts back in. And if you're curious, if the truck's never been messed with, all the bolts that 
hold this little cover on are all the same. So they don't have to go exactly, you know, you don't have to save the cover bolts because they're the same as these little ones right here. They're just regular standard eights. So, but you know, a lot of these trucks you work on, they've already been gone through and get some people that work on it that don't know what they're doing and put the different size bolts and strip them and go to town. Now you want to be careful when you tighten it. So there's been like a brass rib nut in the plastic cover. So you don't want to go, again, caveman style. Just gonna go around, get them all started. Then we're gonna do the two hard ones in the back. The stud is kind of a pain. And this uh, extension, this extension that I'm using is a wobble plus. So you can see it's straight and then you pull it down and it wobbles on the end. This is the one I use when I do these. Because when the, with the stud back there, you can't use a standard swivel. At least the swivels that I own are shallow. They're not deep enough to hold the stud. Okay. And you just want to snug them down. Not trying to destroy anything here. I don't want to destroy this valve cover. I, I don't really want to know how much it is. Okay, we got that. I know I guess so I put the harness properly back on right there. I'm gonna go ahead and set that. Don't forget to plug your clips back in for your wiring. I'll be that guy. Just try to make it look nice. You know. We'll put that back on. I got all those tight. Now we're gonna go and put the cover on and clear the code. And I'll put the code in the description. Um, the one that I have for the crankcase filter. I think it was just uh, just basically crankcase filter is pressure too high. Um, you basically just want to make sure as long as it's not puffing out smoke, um, you don't have a compression issue. That's the main key. Because let's say you have a, a weak cylinder, you know, low compression and it's pushing blow by, it'll just plug that filter up and cause that code. You know, this one, you pull the cap and it just go, psh, it just go pressure and that was it. It wasn't puffing. So as long as you're not puffing, you should be fine. But you want to make sure. But um, yeah, this one's all done. That's how you do a crankcase filter in 6.7. It's not too bad, but I forgot about that. Got to fix that. Perfect. Okay, we'll see you guys on the next one.